So I know I've been kind of quiet on any progress on Needle or anything for a minute, and that's because I'm working on the framework for it called Syringe. So this framework is massively inspired by Nimso. Uh, a couple of months ago, you might have seen some videos pop up that I privated uh, because I didn't mean for them to be public where I was working with active ragdolls. And I'm finally getting to a point where it's looking like something. Um, so anyway, what Syringe is, it's a framework for VR. So you can see we've got input handlers, um, all of the different inputs. Here you have WebGuy who's got a ragdoll and all of his tracking is underneath. I've only been putting this together for the last two days, this ragdoll stuff. So it's not anywhere near done. But if I click play, you can see I've got like a debug mode. So I'm not going into VR right now. So when there's no VR, you get this debug mode. That's me calibrating there. That's just the secondary button. You can see here when I press any of the buttons. Uh, let me switch to Oculus controllers because they're actually animated. Here you go. So you can see we've got the grips. Uh, if I come around the front here, we've got both triggers. Uh, up top, we have the buttons. You can see those going there. And that's all just being done by my keyboard. Uh, but anyway, we are now in the actual debug mode, I guess. And you can see we have some locomotion. But the interesting part about this is that it's an active ragdoll. So if I come up here, maximize this, you can see as we're moving around, this is all being driven by physics. You know, we can walk into the pools. If I, it, it's playing with angles in the debug mode is the easiest way to get results. Uh, but like if I hit the arm on there, you can see that it kind of pushes us. All of the numbers, like, to get it driven are probably going to be changed because like if you wanted to climb right now uh you know you get your hand on top of the thing push it down you don't get very far uh so i've got to mess with the joint strength and all of that but in terms of what's actually going on i'm finally at a point where it's looking like stuff you notice right now the legs aren't interacting with the world um they can there's nothing wrong with that I've just got them on a separate layer right now because when they're here, it kind of drags along with the locomotion, but you know, it's an option. They're there, they get caught on stuff and that messes with the player. There's a few issues that I'm having, uh, which you can probably quite clearly see. Uh, the camera when you're walking is never like right. And that's because the head is obviously being affected by the physics of the spine and the hips. Uh, and the head's not actually being affected by where the camera's looking either. I can get a hold of it. The, the camera just looks around and doesn't matter. The other thing is that the controllers are being... They're, they're being tracked quite well. There's just some more stuff I could be doing. But yeah, pretty solid start for a couple of days. Uh, I've not been working on this for two days. I've been working on this for a lot longer. I've just been trying to get it to work like this specific version of it for the last two days. But yeah, uh, I can sit here and explain how it's working for hours, but that's basically what I've been working on.